All right, we're back. We're just going to be talking really quickly about your keepsake options here in the character selection screen. So I'm making myself a new character. It's going to be a samurai. Um, I am going to pick a keepsake, and I have learned a little bit about these. I've chosen a few and gone out and done what they need, so I think I have a pretty good idea here. So you can either choose no keepsake, uh, which obviously just gives you a little bit of a handicap at the start of the game. The Crimber Amazon Medallion increases your maximum HP by a little bit uh, permanently, so this is just good for the early game, especially for a character with low hit points that um, you know might need it. Uh, this one here, this is a rune. It gives you, I think, 3,000 runes, so it's good for about three different stat point increases, maybe three or four, um, once you get to that point. It takes about 30 minutes or so. I think it. I think it took me 30 or 40 minutes. You can check my video uh, of the part one uh, before you can use this. So don't use it before then. But you, uh, you've got that. This golden seed here um, gives you one extra use on your flask. So you start the game with four uses of flask. Either um, if you're, you know, you can use FP or the HP. So it either refills your mana or refills your health. Um, you get four normally. This will give you five. Uh, so. You will get these anyway throughout the game, but uh, this just gives you one at the start of the game. I can tell you as a, um, uh, I used, or I started on a caster, um, and this would have been super helpful <laughs> because uh, you need a lot of um, mana to keep up with uh, casting your spells. Uh, so this is pretty good, especially if you're running uh, a mana user like that, um, something like a healer or a, or a caster. Uh, the Imp Ashes summons two spirits, uh, Imp Spirits for you. You can use this uh, as much as you like, uh, but you can't use it right away in the game. You've got to get to a certain point, uh, a certain quest in the game that you uh, have to accomplish in order to use this. But uh, yeah, basically two little Imps that will sort of fight for you. I don't know yet. I haven't used them, so I don't know exactly how powerful they are. I suspect that they're just a small bump in power, just like the rest of these. Otherwise, they would be pretty overpowered power and so just a little bit a cracked pot is a uh, consumable item that you use to make these explosives um, they're sort of uh, uh, unlimited use explosives you have to refill them with uh, things so you have to sort of uh, add uh, materials to them to continue using them but they're quite useful um, this would be especially good uh, against groups of mobs or uh, bosses things like that so this is another good one to think about uh, this is probably the one of the better options um, out there, other than the Crimson Medallion uh, and the runes, just because it's it's got it's you know it's an item that you can use over and over again. Uh, this Stone Sword key opens up uh, areas of the map. Uh, you need these keys. You start with two of them uh, if you choose this keepsake, uh, and then you can open. They're sort of like doors that can't be opened unless you have these keys. You will get other keys as you progress through the game, but um, I know at the beginning of the game there's one of these imp sword storm things that you can get there's like a, a medallion that increases your stamina um regeneration which can be really helpful especially if you're playing something um that has a shield uh, you can basically use this to uh you know get your shield uh back quicker um so that's really handy uh the bewitching branch i chose this on my uh starting character the first time it's probably one of the least useful uh ironically um, it says it charged with beguiling power and I thought oh maybe that's gonna be something cool it's not this is basically an aggro reset tool you get five of them if you find yourself in a situation where you don't want to lose your runes you don't want to die um, and there's a bunch of people around you you throw this on the ground it releases a pink sort of smoke mist in the area and anybody that's fighting you in that area will just put down their arms and go about their business uh, I don't know the usefulness of this is maybe not so high but it is what it is uh, these five boiled prawns will give you some damage negation for the period of time that the buff is active on you i don't think it's very long lived but it might be helpful for certain scenarios where you need to uh you know kill a boss within a certain amount of time or something like that um this has its sort of situational uses the final one is sort of a bigger handicap it, it uh sort of attracts enemies aggression so it's sort of like an, an enmity enhancer gives makes makes mobs more um attracted to you which uh, seems like it would be really difficult to play the game like this but if you do want a sort of hard mode you can pick that so these are your choices you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh choices here 
Um, obviously, this is a slight handicap, not having any benefit. This is a huge handicap, having everything aggro on you. And then there's certain things in between. Uh, I would probably take the runes on most of mine, just because having a few extra levels of you know your main stat is going to be uh, pretty overpowered. Uh, so I think that's probably the way to go. But uh, there you go. That's what all of these different um, keepsakes do for you. None of them are especially overly powerful, I don't think, uh, unless there's a stone sword key, a late game that gets you in somewhere that you, you know, normally couldn't get into. But again, you can get these keys later on, so uh, you're really only saving yourself. I think it's 5,000 runes to, to get one of these keys later on, uh, if I remember correctly. So, uh, is it worth it? Eh, probably not. Uh, I think that uh, this is the only unknown because, um, because. There are areas of the game that might still that may come into play later that you can use but otherwise the rest are you know relatively minor boosts but good boosts anyway especially this hp i think is really good especially early game so that you can have that extra figure all right guys this is dan from questline hero thanks so much i'm looking forward to playing a lot more elden ring so far i'm having a great time even though i'm terrible at these kinds of games i am learning and learning is uh learning is fun have a fantastic weekend guys we'll see you in the next one